And we're live. Hi, I'm Aussie Brick Chick and he's Aussie Brick Bloke. And welcome to the couch as uh, we dig in and build stuff from our ever growing pile of Lego shame. What do we have for the viewers tonight? We have that bad boy, the <laughs> Porsche. He's been hanging out at Builders One for such a long time, and obviously, it's going to be a big build. So let's just hook into it. Yep. In the background, we've also got my good friend Douglas McBrien. What are you building tonight, Douglas? I'm building a Mustang. Ooh. <laughs> I saw one of those in the in in the brick on the weekend, and it's it's quite a nice car. Very nice. Like yeah. Nowhere near as big as this bad bad boy, but you know you get that. Oh, and yeah. look who I am, Dots. Hello. Hello, Bailey. Thank you, nice to see you. Yeah, it's been a while. The stars have aligned again. <laughs> <laughs> it does happen occasionally. Yeah. Um, uh, I won't be building tonight. I don't have anything to build, but... That's okay. I'm working on something Lego related. I'll bring it in. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, wow, even the like, which is all through the decade. Oh, he's excited. He is so excited. Okay. Awesome. Okay, what, what's Bailey got? So you know, like the bionicle masks, yeah? Yes, um. I have a friend with a 3D printer. <gasps> oh, <dude. laughs> Oh. So it's life size, and I'm going to be trying to finish it, sand it, oh well, at least file down some of the bits. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sean's having a conniption. Right? <laughs> Encyclopedia Portia. Good Lord, it's up to the Porsche. That's huge. Where are we going to fit that? He goes, damn it, I knew we should have put out the big table tonight. The box you can see why they, um, is taking up half of this little table. The good part is, is with the Bugatti at least, they split it in half. Mm, so you yeah. get two books. That's true. Yeah, they obviously one. learnt their lesson after this. Oh, my God. And it God. still comes with stickers. <laughs> still stickers. Yeah. Just to rub it in. That is like over an inch thick. That is insane. Yeah, it's like the local directory. Why stickers? <laughs> All right. when, when one spends this much money on a, on a thing, you'd expect to have you know, next to no stickers. But no, there are stickers. So the box is all nicely... Wheels. Nicely sectioned off. It's a very, you know, as as I have seen, you know, a couple of unboxings. This is a very premium box. Just the wheels. Pins and tires. The yep. tires are on the inside. inside yeah, so they can stay in there till they're needed. At least with the Mustang, you get a small sticker sheet. Yeah, uh, it's mainly number plate. Hang on, hang on. Let me click on you. Yes. Yeah, probably a little bit less on your sticker sheet than our sticker sheet. Most of yours are bloody license plates. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if any of those license plates are uh, Easter eggs for the designers. Anything's possible. P51 UK2 GT1967. The New Ooh. South Wales plate is bad, 5296. <laughs> Just a few bags. Okay. And by look at I think this just builds the engine. Oh, wow. The boxes <laughs> actually show you what you're building. Yeah. I never would have guessed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. 
Uh, I might say a quick hi to those who have joined us in the live chat so far. We got Tugless Mick Bricken who said, "Pick a Porsche night." <laughs> Thanks, Tugless. <laughs> We're, we're missing a couple of our regulars tonight, so I've got 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 at least a couple of ring-ins, but they're people you know, so it's all good. Um, we've also got Ado's join us in the live chat. Um, good to see you. Happy birthday for the other night. I'm not sure whether you watched Friday night stream, but we wish you a happy birthday and said thank you for the... The little um, poly bags from the Lego movie that we missed out on getting because, A, we didn't go to the prem premiere that actually was giving them out, and, B, they were only giving them out to children. Oh, boo. Boo, hiss, yeah, yes, well. Boo, hiss. Lego is a child's toy after all anyway. Um, who else have we got? We got Martin M, which I'm assuming means we've got Taz of Head somewhere in the background as well. We got a signing of the Spong. Hello, Spong. Jason Carpenter's join us. Warren G. Ha, Adam Spong says I'm available. I have done my You Now streams. Awesome. You Now still a thing. Oh, uh, that's okay, Ado. Um, happy birthday for the other day, then. Yes, and happy I'll birthday. Want to say thank you so much for helping me set up. Um. I hope it was a good experience for your birthday day because he did it on his birthday, the whole thing. So um, I, I'm very appreciative of your time on your special day. That's pretty cool. No, I think that's everybody for now. Building? What about building in the live chat? Are you building anything? Are you sorting? Are you just hanging out? Um, we always love to know what everyone's up to. Well, Sean here sorts through his technique. This looks like a nightmare of pieces. Yeah, looks like it's going to be more than a so. Yeah. I've got the actual part of Ooh, stringy. Yeah, that's probably part of the suspension, I reckon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. I need more containers. I don't know. I'm just going to swear and curse at it. Well, after watching Billsy um, doing some of this, on his um, Twitch stream, uh, I am Billsy. It's very hard to find some of the parts. Sometimes you get piece one really quickly. Well, that's why I'm only going to tackle step one tonight. I'm not going to even try to get onto box two. No. As he says, okay, it's going to take oh, it's going to take a while. At least four weeks. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All you're building tonight is this from here. I'm jumping into the deep end in the Technic. By building oh. one of the biggest the uh, Tassa says, BRB, we're off to pick up a kid's bulk lot of parts locally. Nice. Awesome. Uh, Ado says, building Emmett and Benny's workshop for $18. Couldn't pass it up. Also have the duplay of the movie two sets to do. Nice. Those are two sets that I do not have yet. Time for the water. Okay. I need to figure out how to put this monstrosity yeah. of a book. This is um, <laughs> quite a challenge. <laughs> Thud goes the book. Husband goes, okay, yeah, yeah, I think we should have put out the big table. Oops, never mind. Oh, but the book is so nice. What do you reckon could be a possible next vehicle for that sort of sized series? You reckon like a Lamborghini or a. Oh, like that? I don't think has the license for Lamborghinis, so it may. Uh, I wouldn't get money more for a Ferrari. Possibly. Because they do they have the license for mechanics. Ferrari. They have the license for Bugatti. have the license for Porsche. have the license for mm. um, Chevrolet, Ford, Mercedes. They're doing a lot of McLarens. I reckon McLaren will be Mercedes McLaren will be the next. Yeah, maybe a P1 or so, whatever the current one is. Got the first like 20 odd pages. A Golf. <laughs> What did they call him? The golf. 
The golf wings? Oh, the gold wing doors. Yeah, the gold wing doors. No, the, no, some of the McLaren's and stuff have it too. Oh, okay. That's what I reckon I'll go for next. Something with a different door. Oh, oh hey. bring in the rear we got, Philip. Hello. How is everyone? Good. Feeling <laughs> muscles I didn't know were there. Sorry? Feeling muscles that I didn't know were there. Yes, tell me about it. My lower back is not friends with me today. I don't feel like I did anything much to aggravate it over the weekend, but there it is. The boys have been over the 4 0. Well, I've just helped, <laughs> just helped my son move all just helped my son move all his heavy stuff out of his room into his unit, so yeah. Ooh, your volume up a bit. Okay. But the first steps. <laughs> no, I put some pins in. First steps. <laughs> yeah. Even the pork is impressed. <laughs> <laughs> it only took me flicking through 40 pages to get to the 40 first 40 pages step. to get to the first instructions. <laughs> the instructions. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, sounds like we've got a little bit of feedback echo. Oh, is that from me? Must be because it wasn't there before you. Hang on, it's not there now. Okay, fine. We'll continue. Because it might uh, be the uh, microphone picking up on my TV. That's right. uh, so no, it seems on. like an occasional thing. Hang on. Anyway, uh, we've got my uh, little brother is in the house. Shield D1, aka Inside the Brick Box. Jason Carpenter says he's filling the king's estate. Well, that was a big echo yeah, back. Ado says, hey, Dark Side. Hey, Ado. I just got a message there. Oh, I should be building, but I'm going to be catching my breath for a little bit. Been helping my son move all his heavy <laughs> items out of his unit out of the house. There it is. Yeah, it's such a big move. Yeah, it doesn't matter how big the move is, it's how heavy everything is to carry over there. Yeah, it doesn't make it any easier. Did you just pull down the fence and make it easier, or did you walk it? It's like playing Tetris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> playing Tetris with the small amount of space we have on this four foot table. I, I am now regretting not getting the bigger table. Not that he, well, it's a bit wider, so that might help. Is that bubbles I can see the head of? Possibly. Probably. Yes, the weird fish. Um, my, that, that, that's not that, bubbles, it's too small. That, that's actually the other one. Om nom. Oh, no, no, Bubbles has come through now. That's Bubbles. <laughs> Heard his name. <laughs> bubbles, you are fatty fish. He's just big bone. He's <laughs> fatty fish. He's big bone. Stop picking on the poor fish. You are fatty fish. Yes, you are. And it's that bloody attention. Yeah. I wouldn't expect that from a fish, but yeah. <laughs> Why are you not feeding me? Come on, guys. We should be used to this by now. On Tuesday night, we this year and ignore you. <laughs> uh, my poor son, his, um, internet, his internet modem turned up. The, the, his modem turned up today. The internet's all connected. Start moving everything in, and then realise something's missing. Oh, yeah. There's no phone jack. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the phone jack. They re they gutted the entire unit and refurbished the entire unit before he's moved in. 
And they fell to the phone jack back. The, they didn't put the phone jack back in and the Tylers have tiled over where the lead came out. Oh. That's not the first uh, time I've heard of that. That happened yes. to my friend. Tomorrow, tomorrow I've got a... <laughs> I've got to work out who the hell to contact to try and get someone to come over and put a new phone jack in. Sparkies do that, don't can't they? Can he plug the phone into the internet? He can run off his phone, off his mobile phone for internet if he wants to use up 10 gig and get charged for it. They probably just need to find where the jack was originally in the yeah. internet. The lead's saying... The unit's up off the ground, so there's a crawl hole, a crawl hole where the guy can get under the floor to fix it. I've just got to contact someone for Brian because he, he's at work all day. Oh. But I don't know who to contact. Is it a spark? Do Sparkies do that, or is it an, actually a telco or what? I think you have to deal with a telco to do that. Oh, crap. Oh, he's with Optus, so I'll give Optus a ring in the morning. Yeah. I'll charge him. Yeah, I know. I've just, I've just um, spent a stupid amount of money on him today as a surprise. Brought him a futon and a slow cooker and a whole bunch of other stuff to get him all set up. Uh, Spong says that your beard is lit. Yes, it's getting there, but bad news is it's going away too. <gasps> What, going away and away? Yeah. Forever? Minister, Minister of Finance and Reproduction said it's got to go. What, entirely? I'm allowed to keep the goatee. She likes it when I've got a goatee. But, yeah, otherwise it's got to go. You, you're not allowed to be beardy, man. No. Could you try and, like, maybe vouch for it being heritage listed or yeah. something? <laughs> and they can't touch it? Yeah, I wish, but no. That's funny. Oh, I've got so much I wanted to do tonight. Good wise, but stuffed. Hey, they keep it, dude. Just in the contract, starting with more of the things in the crew for the show. Yeah, Douglas. Never can I. I can can anyone hear. else hear Douglas, or is it just us? I can barely hear Douglas. He's just yeah. a man. Dude, you're never close enough to your phone. I know. <laughs> I've got to go all the way close like you can. Just talk really loud. <laughs> oh, Adam reckons that you need a Sparky. Yeah, I thought it was a, just a Sparky that sets up phone lines. Yeah, if the phone line is actually already there, it's just an extension that has to be, and a jack that has true. to be put in on the wall. Yeah, true. So, so long as they, you know, can do it. Oh, well, ring around, figure it out, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'll work it out. They don't carry a charge yeah. so that it can kill you. You can pretty much do that yourself. Sorry, what was that? They don't carry enough electricity to kill you, so you can actually wire, wire them sorts of things up yourself pretty easily. Yeah, if I knew what I was doing. <laughs> no, I'll, that's, people have that job for a reason. I'll pay someone to do it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. So, Philip, how was your weekend? Awful. Awful, just awful. I can't wait for um, Gladstone. You can't wait for Gladstone. Oh, it's awful because now you want to be going to the Gladstone show like yeah. now. Pretty much. Um, the whole. Um, conjoined big dealio thingy majiggy that's been talked about yeah we may not be able to take part in it oh that sucks yeah it's purely a fact of <laughs> traveling down on traveling down on the first weekend to drop off the table and then being unable to come down to pick it back up because i'll be busy on that weekend because that's a star wars weekend so i'll be busy with the 501st stuff uh, okay from what i've heard that there may be an opportunity to set up earlier than the weekend and later than the last weekend for pack up so yeah. work, but, they're a bit yeah. flexible um there's more information coming yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I'll have to wait. Everybody else, time. sorry for the vaguing, but... Um, yeah, sorry, yeah, I didn't want to mention... This it, is right? public, I can tell you all. Yeah, I didn't want to let you know, so sorry for mentioning <laughs> it. 
Yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> Adam says, will Darkside talk more tonight as he talked to Ton over the weekend? He talks more on Tuesday nights. What are you talking Tuesday's about? Tuesday's my talking night. Friday's my shutting up and listening to everyone else and learning stuff night. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, when I'm quiet, I'm not just quiet for no reason. I'm actually learning. I'm listening. Yeah. Yes, you need to focus. Yes, very much so. Uh, Sean isn't going to do a whole lot of talking because he needs to focus because it's so easy to bugger up this build. Yeah, I've already. Yeah, Sean shouldn't be talking. He should be building. Yeah. So, Bailey, what are you going to do with that mask when you finish with it? I'm going to file slash sand all of the edges and things. Yeah. Um, so that they're as round as, like, you grab your sand too. to scale with the real piece. And then, yeah. uh, you know, bog it and sand it all and paint it to look like it's right. just a giant version of the real piece. Try and make it look as, you know, glossy take plastic. Your, um, and take that, put it on your chair and take it over with you. You should unpack it set it all up so when the attack comes the telco comes through. Oh. It can be all plugged in and off you go. Sorry. Philip's having a nice loud conversation. So um, trying to okay, listen. Philip, we, we forgive you. I'll just turn your volume down, dude. It's all good. Um yeah, so what, what are you gonna do when it's finished exactly? Well uh, after you've like done all the stuff that you want to do with it. This is well, just just have it. Just, just have it. Just have it as part of my stupid shelves full of weird things. Ah, oh, part of your collection. Oh, I was just wondering whether it was something that you wanted to wear. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I've, I've got enough helmets. I've got a helmet from Titanfall. I've got an Iron Man helmet. I've got, obviously, these two near here. I just have a thing for masks, not in the kinky way. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Not even a whole length. Like it's a bionicle was a big part of my childhood. My brother and I had allergies and things. Well, mainly my brother, uh, and so for things like Easter, instead of chocolates and stuff, uh, we'd go for you know like little Lego sets and stuff. And so there was a, a period of time where every Easter and every Christmas we'd get a bionicle set. Um, and so when I found this file somewhere on the internet and found someone that was doing large format 3D printing, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll try that out. I'll give it a go. You're like, yeah, yeah, baby, yeah. And so hoping to put this up on the wall at some point. Nice. You might see it. Yeah. Somewhere. Uh, it's 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 I don't have a project at the moment. Uh, and I like having oh, little projects yeah. to sink my head into. So um, this is my current one and it's going to take a while. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So long as I don't cry about it. Okay. I've put blood into it or I've put sweat into it. <laughs> tears put, into it. put blood, sweat, and now you just need the tears and she's all good. Yeah. I didn't realise how raw your knuckles could get. Smack it on these hard edges. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd believe it. Um... Aiden says, Bionicle was my childhood too. I have almost every set released. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, your friend. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, Aido, do you have any of the trans orange Krata that came with the Nike Bionicle crossover shoes? Because I have a spare one if, if you'd like to uh, swindle it off me somehow. Swindle it. Swindle it with money or money. Or money. <laughs> I'm open to swindling. Aussie Rick Chicks trading post. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I posted a photo of them. It's this thing like so Bionicle uh, and Nike teamed up for a, a promo shoe type thing back in 2003, I think. And inside the shoe was like a special Bionicle piece that only came in those shoes, a special color. Uh, and I posted a photo of these pieces up online, and as soon as I did, I got like a strongly worded, angry message on Facebook saying, I'm so pissed off that my eBay, uh, you know, like email notifications didn't work because I've been looking for these shoes for like five years now. But I thought, well, that's not my fault. <laughs> Yeah, he says, no, I wish I really wanted those shoes. I still have the shoes. <laughs> and they're, they're up for offer too. Uh, Aiden's on Keylug. FYI. Barely goes quiet. <laughs> it's just looking on Facebook. Mm. Um, how did the Sunshine Coast show go? Was it went cool? as well as last year, and last year was a success. So yeah. I'm guessing that means this year was a success. <laughs> That's good. That's good to hear. Yeah, it was really quite busy. Mm. In a, in a good kind of way. Well, I guess up there they don't get a massive amount of shows like that. No, no. It's not like they get Ryan McNaught. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Um, um, any new exhibitors? Um, we had Hazel. Um, Hazel has um, some big mosaics. Ah, nice. There's one of her, nice. her father or grandfather. I like the one of the dog. Those are nice. Yeah, there, there's her dog and um, Elvis Presley. She also had a Snoopy. That oh, was wow. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have to share some photos on Friday night. She also has one of a Border Collie, but I didn't get to see the photo. Oh, because I specifically asked her about that, but then got way too busy and never got back around to to seeing photos of it. <laughs> also wanted to try out Damien's game that he had set up there too, but I never, didn't get a chance to try that either. It was a busy weekend. Well, it was, was a very busy I was, weekend. I was busy at least. <coughs> well, I got bailed up half a billion times. I only did it once. Surprised. I'm surprised I achieved anything all weekend. I it was really one. busy. <coughs> oh, Sorry, what was that, Philip? I only bailed you up once and it was for something important. Yeah, I know, but you weren't the only one. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, oh, an admin's job is never done. That's me, brick separator. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's more for putting on stickers. There you go. Um, and for pushing out axles that you do wrong. Hmm. Oh, Jason says, thanks, ABC, for showing us around the show. Yeah, it wasn't until after I did my live stream that I found out that the actual, like, that area, the venue, had really good Wi-Fi that I could have been using. <coughs> Which is a bit disappointing, but mm -hmm. oh, well. I haven't had a chance to watch it back, so I'm not sure how good it came out. I can need to go get myself a drink of water. I'll be back in a minute. There's a fish tank there if you need a drink. Oh, you're so funny, Bailey. I wouldn't want to drink that water. Yeah, it's full of fish poo. Yeah, fish swimming it, swimming it. Um, have you ever built anything to put inside the fish tank? No. Would you be open to it? That'd be a cool stream or a cool uh, video at least. I have contemplated it before. Mm. 
I can't say I've found anything I particularly, you know, specifically want to build. Mm. A bit worried that the um, catfish would have a bit of a munch mm. on it. Yeah, we have catfish. Oh, uh, okay. It, um, destroyed our silk plants that we had in there. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they're just eating all the algae off of it. Mm. As they're eating the algae, it's... They get a bit overly enthusiastic, and then next thing you know, you've not got any leaves. So they're cat by both name and nature. Mm-hmm. I didn't realise that. Yep. It's because they, they've got those little <laughs> rasping. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Ah, Matt Allen's joining us in the chat. He says, hey, Bailey, I wasn't able to have chocolate either at Easter and I used to get Lego in 78. I actually got the police set to come. Oh, really? First minifig, yeah? Nice. That was the one that came in 600. Am I thinking of someone else? Uh, I think it's that one. Yep. It's it's one. <laughs> Jason suggested SpongeBob sets underwater. I don't own any fun book sets, unfortunately. They're a bit before the time that I was actually collecting a lot of things. I couldn't have chocolate growing up either. I was allergic. But my mother didn't buy me Lego. <laughs> Instead, I got those horrible hard candy um, oh, yes. Easter eggs that were disgusting. Mm -hmm. It was like, like hard and chalk with flavouring in it. I remember getting yeah, it. Not, not fantastic. Oh, oh, they were horrible. And the only thing that was worse than that, and like that so totally was part of what's cracked my teeth. Um, the other part was um, dirt tasting carob. Yay! Oh, yeah. Just because it looks like chocolate doesn't mean it tastes like chocolate. <laughs> Done that around the room, mate. Slow progress. Yeah. Well, I've done the internal gear selector. It's amazing what you can achieve when you don't talk. Mm. <laughs> well, we're turning all well, the gears run. Turn, so that's a positive. <laughs> yes. This is the first Technic set I've ever built. I'm jumping in the deep end. Seriously? Yep. <laughs> first one. And I'm building the Porsche. Hmm. That's a steep learning curve. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <coughs> wow, Tassiped's back. How good How good is your bulk buy? Ha have you been ripped off? Or is it a bargain? Yeah, Ed is saying, take your time. Yes, I'm only up to step 34. <coughs> oh, goodness. I think I've forgotten how to drink water. Matt says, his oldest sister started him on Lego in about 74, 75. Ah, that was a good era. What, Homemaker? <coughs> mm. for most of that time. And then obviously a couple of years later when the minifig came out, that would have skyrocketed your collection. Why are we getting more progress? Things on things. <laughs> That's looking more like a Porsche with each yeah. step. Oh, yeah. Yeah, more and more. Internal. Internaling. Huh. Adam says, try build the bucket wheel digger Dad made. That was hard. I'll bet it was. So, so Bailey, do you, do you have plans on doing any of the other regular shows 
anytime soon or is just life busy busy uh life is busy but i am wanting to get back into the shows i've got a bit more freedom uh with taking time off work and that sort of thing um I think of uh, like I don't get the uh, emails for shows anymore. I don't think uh, for applications. Um, so I might put a word into whoever I need to. And just say, I'm open, <laughs> but I don't know what the next show is um, or when it is. So yeah, not sure. But I would like to. There you go, so I think the next show that's close enough for you to want to go is probably <laughs> not until the end of the year. Is that Brisbane? Tweed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's manageable. Is that at uh, Seagulls again? or? Um, allegedly. I haven't confirmed, but... Nothing's been confirmed yet. All right. I think that aim for Seagulls. Mm. I can definitely do that. Yeah. I'm yeah. able to do that. Oh, good. Because then what are the other ones? We got Gladstone in July. And that's it. Oh, okay. And Gladstone, they've already closed applications on. Mm. Yeah, I looked at the map of that. I couldn't remember where Gladstone was, and then I suddenly remembered it. It's central Queensland. <laughs> yeah. yeah. About an hour south of Rocky? Yeah. Only helps if you know where that is. Yeah, I know where the Rockhampton is. I know where that massive cow is. <laughs> yeah, that apparently keeps getting its um gets neutered all the time. Hey, massive cow. Yeah, the big bull statue at Rocky. There's multiple bull statues. What are you talking about? I think the one that you see as you go drive straight into town. Apparently, Welcome to Rockhampton. Our citizens like to neuter the bull. Yep. It's not so much the citizens as the uni students. I went to uni there um, in Rockhampton, so I'm well versed with the bull's balls going missing. Never part of it. Like tungsten carbide or something, make it really difficult <laughs> to remove them. Yeah, it was very common back in the 90s. <laughs> ah, Matt says, my first set was a 660 car and a plane transport in 1975. Transport. Oh, I think I know the one. Is that the... Red car, yellow plane, blue trailer. Yes, it was. My uncle, no, cousin, I don't know how they work half the time, second cousin, uh, gave that to my family when my brother was born. He goes, oh, I'm sure I'll make use of this at some point. He didn't care at all because it was just bricks when it came into our collection. It was the only piece from 1970-something that we had and I started to research where this trailer came from and found the set, and that was how I found Brick Set. And like two weeks later, I'd catalogued all 200 and something sets in our collection that we didn't know we had. <laughs> <laughs> he says, yes, and I still have the trailer. Beautiful. The tow ball snapped off of ours, so we just sort of rigged it up with a rubber band, I think. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Philippines at the I don't ask, does anyone here kind of like catalog their sets on brick set? No. Nope. I used to, then I stopped. 
I've never no, used it to do that. So that's my progress now so far. Nice. Slowly getting there. That's cool. So many pins. We have a Dan in the chat. Hi, Dan. Oh, what are our thoughts on the uh, Lego Masters ad? <laughs> going to be very interesting. I reckon it gives people a good enough impression of the show and the people. Uh, are. So. Is that uh, good? Is he uh, actually see walking in your tail? Sorry? Is that Billsy you sell? Yeah. Not boy. Getting to the point of needing a specific piece and you can't find it. Oh, yes. You're just being the a piece. bit special? Yeah, just being a little special. There's a lot of black pieces in that first section. They all blend. They all yeah, I thought I needed before. to get a, a three long one, but it's just the parts <laughs> on this end panel. Ah, oh, special. So special. Yeah, yeah, special snowflake. Yeah, I'm um I'm keen to see Lego Masters. I generally don't watch commercial TV at all anymore, but I'll make an allowance. And of course, our our, our friend Lizzy is going to be on. That'll be good to see. I've seen him in the promos, so you're allowed to say it now. Mm. Official and public. I mean, what? What? Billsy is on Lego Masters? Yeah, Billsy is on Lego Masters. Did you not know this? Uh, that's that sucks, Captain Bailey. You meant to sound surprised. <laughs> uh, well, well, we all knew that he, he auditioned. Uh, Dan's asked if Frostbrick a contestant. Yes, Kale. Kale is a contestant. Paired up with Grand Billsy. Uh, Seeing Daniel's asked what I was making. For me too. So, this bionicle mask, I'm supersizing it and making a life size one. I'm hoping you know what it is, Daniel. It is it's good. I like the fact that Hamish Blake is hosting. Mm, that should be good. Drawing a drawing a uh, maybe a wider crowd. Yeah, it should be a lot less with his humour than the um the UK version. Yeah. Just gonna mute myself for a second. Okay. Do we know who the like Lego representative that's on it is? Like, I know, uh, old mate, around the country, brick dude is on it. What's his name? Yeah, Ryan McNaught is on that's it. One. Sorry, Ryan. Um, <laughs> we know that he's on it. Uh, is there someone from Lego? Like there was. Uh, Throughout, with I think it's just the two oh, of them. Yeah, no. Because I would imagine they may come through, like, as guest judges or something. Mm -hmm. Dan says, wow, that's freaking awesome. The rest of the Bionicle next. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to do Lee with the green one, or the generally that, green one. That, that would make it the most expensive Bionicle in your collection. You were to up size it. It's not cheap to 3D print. Oh, I don't know. 
Depends on if he's managed to get his hands on some of the solid gold and silver ones. That no, way. I haven't, but I did see the eBay listing for it recently. Yeah, the mirror. Ado. Um, yeah, it went up on eBay, I think. Um, I don't know if it actually went for it uh, for the asking price or if it had an asking price. I don't know. I just remember that the listing went up. I didn't actually hang around to check what... Uh, yeah. What actually happened with it? Oh, it looks like the news um, did their bit on the show tonight. My brother just posted it in our little group chat. Oh, I got it earlier this year. Uh, Last yeah. year we had to wait till Wednesday. Yeah. I'm just watching it without sound. <laughs> Ken's on it. Ken's an organizer. Oh, crap. Uh, I reserve uh, large, strange purchases um, to Galador instead of Bionicle. Yeah. If I were to go for a strange underdog theme. Oh, they got Philip. Hey, Philip's on the news. <laughs> Famous. Hey, Damien's on it. Oh, they didn't cut out the Q Love logo. Yeah. Jody, oh, yeah. How did the um, the teardrop banner go? Oh, Hayden got on there too, I think. Yeah. Hayden, got, no, I can't remember what his name. Christian, Q Love member in the world chat. Yeah, comes Christian. Ah, oh, Clinton guys. Okay. <laughs> um. Was it saying? Yeah, the teardrop bow is really good. In fact, um, I think the consensus from the committee is that we want to get a second one. Okay. Cool. Um, we're very happy with the quality and everything. So, although um, <clears throat> the way that they fold it up and the folds sort of really fold, I think I need to get like an iron on it or something. But I was like, not going to try it. Somebody said apparently if you take it outside and just leave it outside for a while, it'll work itself out. Yeah, it'll be cool. Um, and where was it situated in that show? Hmm? Where was it, like, placed in the show? Was it, uh, like, up on a table or out the front? I was up on a table. Okay, That's cool. why it was sitting so high. Um, because ah. when it was on the ground, it was at hit the heads of tall people height. Yeah. <laughs> that, so that's Ken, cool. Ken told us to put it up on the table, and it worked just fine. I'd, I'd say, like with the uh, the color of it, it'll be fairly noticeable up at that height as a nice flag to go to. Yeah. That's cool. So I'm glad that we got the small flag and not the big flag. Yeah. You don't want to look like a used car sales lot? No. <gasps> oh, my God. Can you get custom inflatable waving arm people? <laughs> then, we could really be, then we could really be a used car lot. Better yet, just get, like, someone really tall. Like, get Damien or something to put one of those tunnels you get from Ikea. Get some of them on him and then some on his arms and just have him out the front. <laughs> mm, I think we need to talk to him about this. It's like Bailey, the ideas man. He's the no ideas man. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, it could work. Matt Allen, my first two big sets I got was 850 the forklift in 77 and 857 the motorcycle in 79. I've rebuilt the motorcycle and I've got most of the parts for the forklift. I must get them out of storage and put on display. Of course you need to, and you need to post them all over online and give some of those old times some love. Yes, yes. It was a nice era for sets because they had such a basic colour palette 
but each of the colors is used so appropriately. Hmm. Hmm. Apparently my dad's in the background of the news too. That's nice. Didn't spot myself anywhere, but I wasn't exactly looking at the time. Mm. Bubbles, what are you eating? Bubbles. No, a big plate of grass. Um, num, num. God, they're ravenous. Named these fish. We named them when they were a lot smaller. True, good point. When Om Nom was actually bigger than Bubbles. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I would have seen it all. <laughs> now no one's got the other side of the grass. They're playing tug of war. Uh, doing the lady and the tramp. Yeah. Uh, no, Bubbles is like, no, you don't get grass. Is there a possibility that Bubbles may uh, nom nom or nom nom? Oh, uh, no. No, Bubbles isn't that big. Okay. Good. <laughs> We were just telling Kate the other night that my brother had like nine Thomas the Tank fishes. Thomas the Tank. <laughs> and they were they were all the same fish. Uh, definitely wasn't nine different fish. But they were definitely all the same fish. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's magic. It lived so long. <laughs> magic. Was My Oma, every canary she used to get, she used to call it Pete. Well, that makes it easy. Yeah. I'm not calling Pete <laughs> then repeat. <laughs> <laughs> that is also possible. Well, my mum was telling me when they used to get cats, they, um, they were called Big Puss and Little Puss. When Big Puss died, Little Puss became Big Puss, and then they got a new Little Puss. Mm. Yeah, that's not confusing for the whole cat at all. <laughs> Until they start telling each other about the tales, it's like once they start calling you Big Puss, your time's nearly up. For <laughs> soon, there can only be one. <laughs> Making the transition. Hey, why are there two big pusses? What's happening here? <laughs> that, that's the sound of confusion. Yeah, I'll put this in back to front. <laughs> I swear I put it in the right direction. Oh, my brother says no ABC in the news at all. Sad face. Not. I'm dreading the Channel 7 one when they air it. Because the cameraman actually spoke to me. Still waiting for the 7 News. Seven news oh, so that was Channel 9. Yeah, that was Channel 9. 7 News probably won't be for another day yet. Yeah, Channel 7 aired us Wednesday last year. I think ABC just did a web, web uh, online web thing. Yeah, well, they didn't even have a. I was just had a guy with a microphone. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Blake. It's up. It's just this. This one. Anyway, I think you guys were hungry. Okay. Is that looking right? <laughs> Jason says, but ABC had a live feed when the show was actual news on the spot reporting. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, like, you're a pretty good reporter. You're always first to the scene. <laughs> Yeah, I don't call things. Who are you like, Spider Man? Cover photos of Dark Side. Sorry, what happened? 
You're the cover photo of their video. I am not sure. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you know. Where is this? I must see this. Oh, they um, posted it in our chat. I did not say, hey, hey Siri, goodbye. I don't know what you mean by, I did not say, hey, Siri, goodbye. Disney. How about a web search for it? We're saying goodbye. Hang on. No, Siri's not that smart. It only, said, it only does, hey, Siri, when it's inconvenient. Goodbye, Siri. <laughs> nice talking to you. He's always the polite, at least. For now. For now, yeah. I think Siri gets upset when I'm live streaming sometimes because I ignore him. Well, has anyone um, mentioned the Lego announcement? Or is that a rumour or is it official? Which Lego announcement? The black and white set. That's all I'm going to say until I know if it's official or not. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think it is official. It the is what? official? Steamboat Willie. Oh, yeah, that's official. Yeah. Okay. What is everyone's thoughts on it? I'm meh. I don't. I'm not a, a Disney character person. They goofed the box art, and I'm not a black and white Disney fan. So. They goofed the box art. How? Uh, the Flintstones is number twenty-four. Uh, like ideas set number twenty-four. Yeah. And the digital box art of the Steamboat Willie set says that it's number twenty-four. Uh, somebody wow. pointed out also when they did the press release thing that it it said Flintstones in it. Uh, yeah, it was something about the modern Stone Age family. Steve okay. So it has it again, so it's not the actual books as are uh, fudged up, it's just their... Yeah, it's their... Um, ...for their press release that they... Yeah. Fixed. So what are people's thoughts on it? Eh. I haven't actually had a proper look at it all. I like that it's a, like a brick built hull. I find the one with the stalemate in it. I honestly haven't looked at it enough to make any commentary on it. Sorry. It's not one that particularly interests me. Sorry, I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be the only grumpy one that wasn't interested in it, but okay. Well, it looks like it's almost in the same vein as the, was it the Back to the Future car or the Ghostbusters car that had, like, the stand for the minifigs and a bit of extra, you know, displayability detail? That was Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah. I looked at it, there's, like, a big sort of Mickey Mouse head and 1928 or 1929. I think it's 1928, isn't it? Something like that. Um, yeah, it had like a little display thing that came with the set. It wasn't just the set itself. You can imagine all of the, you know, diehard Disney fans over in the US and through Europe little go crazy for it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like black and white Disney doesn't do much for me. Yeah. Hopefully they've uh, anticipated that and, you know, done, a, done an appropriate sized run at Cladno. Because <laughs> you know that they won't, but you can be hopeful. Oh, there it is. It's the one only one. Oh, I just remembered I have goodies. I haven't been to Dreamworld, but I have friends that live close enough to um, shop for me. Oh. That influences all of them. And what sort of goodies have you got? I have sewer babies. Oh, finally, um, I have the Easter Chick Ricard, and 
I also got the Year of the Piggy. Ah, uh, nice. And something a bit, a bit more special. I had um, sewer general manager. Oh, I have, sewer, a baby. I have a couple um, Legoland Discovery bricks. Um, this one is just Discovery Center. That one. Oh, yeah. And. Good. It'll ever come out. Also got the Christmas one. Oh, nice. Thanks to um Bill. Okay, Bill's are. Douglas, is that General Mayhem with a sewer baby head? Yeah, I dropped a piece. <laughs> oh, that's good. I forgot that they were the same. Does that mean that uh, Scooby Doo's head can also fit on friends' figures? Ooh, let's find out. I think it does. I think it uses a bar connection for the head. Because I thought I remember seeing a baby head on the dog body. Watch out. Watch out. Just like that, he's got <laughs> he's got the Scooby Doo figure. I wish I was that organized. <laughs> ah, that's a good one for Scooby Doo. Oh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no, by the end of this live stream, there'll be fan art of that. That is <laughs> That's legitimate. That's scary. Mm -mm. And disturbing. No, that's not disturbing. Yes, it is. Furries, you are welcome in this space. Just uh, no art, please. <laughs> oh dear. It's just going to be watching over the stream now. That means we can also do this. <laughs> oh, it works even better. <laughs> oh, God. That's just oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Nice little tie. <laughs> Uh, that is legitimately disturbing. Now I've got to get a heap of Scooby Doo's. Make a. And Just have an army heads. of them. Make a, yeah. Scooby <laughs> Baby Army. I, 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 I like the head on the other torso better. <laughs> Another dog people. Put it down, but in the cartoon, there's been, been times when Scooby Doo is dressed up as a, as a, you know, a, like in um, women's clothing. Or... Yeah. yeah, they do it all the time. Yeah. Just need a curtain now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I won't be able to find Shaggy quick. He blends with all the rest. Oh dear, the things that our foals do when they're bored. Yeah. <laughs> or not bored. Or not not bored, or just because. <laughs> oh, Jason says jealous sewer babies and Easter briquettes, you're killing me. <laughs> Sorry. You do know that you can actually ring up the Lego store at Dreamworld and order stuff over the phone. Well, I don't know. You could ask somebody who lives closer like I do.
Yeah, unlike Chadston that doesn't even have a telephone line. Oh, Chad's going to have a telephone line. They just don't, you know, let you have it. Yeah. Good job being sickies. If you don't have a phone, it's just you can't call me sick. <laughs> yeah, this one. Jason says, yes, I have ordered from Dreamworld previously. Looks like I'm calling Kenny Koala again. Hey, Kenny. Yeet. I want that Easter chick, mate. Do they still go by those mascots? I have no idea. I haven't actually been inside of Dreamworld in a very long time. Mm. I think we should, uh... The river, or the Thunder River Rapids ride, um, that's it for the the Eureka Town or Gold Rush Town or whatever that early part was. Mm. So I think it's all new uh, Dreamworld now. Yeah. Wonder if that includes the mascots. You could just wheel out the Lego Hulk out the front and that can be the new mascot. Or <laughs> well, the tiger with the loose jaw, thanks to Joe. <laughs> Has jo Joe done something in addition to the person that kicked the tail? Don't you remember that? No, I don't remember the jaw. <laughs> at the, uh, at the birthday evening oh my god it's the same evening what yeah i think you learned about it or something oh a couple of bits off the jaw came off he put them all back on oh my goodness i didn't know that story i, I knew the tail had gone flying because somebody tripped <laughs> over it and kicked it whoops <laughs> oh well it's lego you can rebuild yeah, yeah, I know. Luckily, they had a bunch of baffles on hand that knew how to put it back together. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't have to end up prying a uh, light flesh 2x4 brick off one of the um, friends' girls. Oh. Because I ended up finding one. You acquired one. Ooh. Nice. That is a very nice colour. I don't... I don't understand why they don't just put in a normal production. Yeah, I don't know. I want that uh, new vibrant coral colour to be made into a 2x4. I want to whack that on oh. the colour chart soon. It's like freaking glowy. Beautiful. Such a such a vibrant colour. It's like warm, warm, warm. Mm. At least I know how my gears work. <laughs> When I did the um, the factory tour, I can talk about it now. When I did the factory tour, <laughs> they were producing the quarter circle pieces that go on the those like exploding heart pieces um, from the Lego movie sets. Uh, and so we got to see that color produced in like uh, just a massive tub full of it and it was almost hard to look at it was so bright mm. <laughs> even just staring at a few pieces is a bit what mm. but that's cool as long as i have one sample of it i'll be happy one sample that's all you need mm. Have, have you seen how awesome the party bus is? Yes. The new pieces, the new gear thing, and all of those colours. Hey, if you're watching, my birthday's coming up. <laughs> hint, hint. Hint, hint. Actually, I did hear all of the um, uh, Avengers Endgame sets uh, apparently releasing on April 1st. Oh. 
So I think that will probably be what uh, birthday funds go to. I'd have to treat myself to all of them. <laughs> Party bus is awesome. We built well. I built that last week, and we had so much fun with it. It okay. looks so cool. Yes. And like the features are awesome as well. I'll go grab it. The best feature is the one that's not expected. Good. So the here's one I prepared earlier. And this one. No, it's in this one. We put um, Princess Scooby Doo in the disco. Princess Scooby Doo in the disco bus. <laughs> Princess Scooby Doo. <laughs> Uh, hey, Douglas, have you got your bus, Douglas? I, I, wa I want to give you a call. Ring, oh. ring. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Douglas. How are you? I'm pretty good, and you still? <laughs> oh, I'm excellent. Isn't this party bus phone awesome? Plagiarism. Yeah, nearly as good as the old Nokia. <laughs> it's better than the old Nokia because if you break it, you can rebuild it. Yeah, you can drop it a few times before the battery breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Hours of entertainment on top of being an awesome little set. I see the heat hasn't gotten to any of you. No. <laughs> well, to be fair, Douglas and I did that last week, so... <laughs> The longer one. It is. It's the best build of this trip. And of course, the uh, beautiful additions of um, Dark Turquoise as well in the top of the set. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm not a big kid, not at all. Not no, even never. slightly, no, never, not me. Mm -mm. Actually, if I, if I had the Lego for it, I would probably build that really bright world that you see at the end of the movie. Mm. That would be cool. That would be. I think that was vague enough for anyone who's not seen it yet. <laughs> I think you'd have to sit there and rewatch it over and over and over again to get the details. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed there was less uh, attention to detail of the pieces themselves, uh, you know, like there was in the first movie. But they're not scratched up in that. And I noticed things like scratches and fingerprints and stuff like that. Oh, I'm meaning like, you know, in the first movie, like... Are you talking about accuracy to the actual bricks and how they move and fall and whatever? Yeah. Like, in uh, the Lego like Movie 2, Uni Kitty's, like, giant form, the Ultra Catty, the head was a, uh, what, 2 by 5 by 2 And it's like the cardinal thing to have a 5 long brick. Uh, and yeah, so they, yeah. instead of, you know, doing something creative with it, they just made a new piece. Well, they actually explained that. Um, they did testing on uh, the normal 1x4 size, and then they tried, I think, the 1x6 size mm -hmm. as well. The 1x4 was way too small for the scale, and the 1x6 was way too out of scale, so they had no choice. Um, to make it look right and not look stupid, like scale-wise to, you know, how they built the rest of the body. Mm. Um, they had to make this in piece, unfortunately. 
Yeah. They did try everything to not do it. I want to check though, because I remember under Ultra Caddy's head, it was a two by five plate. I'm imagining in the set they just did like a two by two and a two by three. Okay, I'll go around yeah. and grab Ultra Caddy. I've got Ultra Caddy. Yeah, they did. Yeah. So like that. Mm. It's not a real piece. They didn't end up making it. And I know that's no, very. No. I guess the gimmick of the first movie was that it was all, you know, real Lego, all Lego that you had access to. Yeah, but if you want to get really, really, like, technical, there were sets and, and colours and pieces that didn't exist. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that were different from what was actually available at the at, at the time of the movie, mm. like before the movie's release, and I can I can see why they made that piece like that. Like that, I think they did a, I think they did a video on it. Um, I'm sure I've seen a video. If it wasn't a video, it was very definitely an article at the very least. Yeah, I think like an Ultra Caddy has a special piece. Yeah, they they had an event at the Lego House with all the prototypes of the movie yeah. sets. So yeah. Probably an article on it. General Mayhem was quite interesting. The prototypes for that hell's like a helmet to begin with. Because mm. I mean, look at that. Can you imagine that being a one by four? That would be like not right. Yeah. Uh, One by six really would be out of scale. So I would have to scale up the whole of the head. Mm. I probably would have had to go on like one by eight, which would have been ridiculous <laughs> to keep the scale the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like it. I forgive them for you know, creating a new piece just for this, essentially. Yeah, do you reckon it'll get some more use? Um, One would hope, if they went to all the trouble of it, that maybe they would use it again, but I don't know. I've not seen it anywhere else yet. Would you happen to know if, you know, the neck connection piece, it's like a... Mm -hmm. One by three upside down file for the collectible minifig Unikitty figures. Would you happen to know if it has been reused at all yet outside of the CMS? I uh, mean no. the pin. Uh, no, the the thing that the pin goes into, like an the inverted thing that pin goes into upside down no. plate. No, the plate. I the reverse reverse plate. No. I've not I could see it have some I could see it having some fairly sort of unique and niche uses. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but it seems like a great snot piece. Mm. Uh just need to interrupt for a second and say hi uh, Miss Amby of Amby Briggs. Hey hey. Day two of her holiday. Um data kind of sucks just dropping in to say hi and leave a like. Well, thank you for dropping by. Now, what were we talking about? Oh, just new pieces being yeah reused yeah. instead of just having their single uses. It, it would be nice to see pieces like that used in other ways. Like, usually when they bring out something new in a new colour or a new shape you see it used multiple times through the different times in that year yeah. I do like the, I suppose uh, the most exceptions is it the dragon dance what's the set called for the chinese new year chinese new year dragon uh, dance that's the one the chinese dragon dance or the dragon dance the dance it has a lot of great parts Usage. It's got like the little heart shaped pieces from the Lego Movie 2. It's got... Yeah, and those pop up in, in other sets. I think they're in Friends as well. Yeah, it's got the leaf pieces. Um, 
east. I don't know what that lantern thing it was going to. inventory now, and there's a lot of great parts usage in this. Old parts, new parts, recolors. Ah, it's got some coral tiles in. What? Inside it? You can't even see them. If anybody, if anybody has the Dragon Dance set, I'll happy to buy two of those coral tiles off you for my color chart. <laughs> you can also get them in the party bus. Mm. Yeah, but they're visible in the party bus, aren't they? They're hidden in the uh, Dragon Dance. BB-8 bottom piece. That's a really weird... Hello! It doesn't sit straight. Party bus doesn't need them barely. Oh, okay. Well, I will look. Yeah. The party bus, you put a sticker on one here on the side. Yeah. Pretty much a no go, isn't it? You can never any others, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah. You can at the back. You can half see it when you look in, but it's not. You've got to look for it to see it. Oh, okay. So it is fully hidden. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. I'll have to get a look. That's the sound of concentration. So much concentration. Oh, yeah. Leaving. Bye, everyone. It's been a fun stream. Thanks for dropping by, See everyone. Good to know, Aiden. See you next time, Aiden. He's mumbling himself like that helps. It does. Apparently it does. Looks like all gears are going together. Oops. 
what it ow clunk. I'm not sure if you can hear me still, but my stream keeps stuttering. I think my internet's going manky. Well, we can hear you. You're all right. I'm freaking out at your stroke light. <laughs> I just realized it was doing that. Sorry if anyone's got epilepsy. <laughs> the fan's on and the fan blade is just nicking over it. Wow. <laughs> it's been struggling the whole time since I've jumped on. But do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm noticing. <laughs> I, I can't answer. <laughs> Damn you, Philip. Wait till you pointed it out. <laughs> Need, uh, I went Bailey moves, it looks like a halo. <laughs> <laughs> like 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 <laughs> oh. Looks like his halo's shorting out. I say leave it. Well, I was just looking at uh, point, you know, I think it needs something, doesn't it? It's a focal point when no one's talking. <laughs> no, please no copyrighted music. Yeah, no copyrighted. Put free to play music on. It says she talks over it really loudly. <laughs> That was less than three seconds. We're all good. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't take much Ow. for it to pick it up and go, fuzz music. <laughs> I'll never forget that one time. One time that we had had some tech issues and people couldn't hear us and I couldn't hear, I couldn't hear James and James played the Spanish flea. <laughs> he thought it was being funny. Did the stream get muted? Uh, no, it didn't get muted, but after the fact it got copyrighted and now I can no longer get ads on it. Well, at the time I wasn't getting ad revenue, so it kind of didn't matter, but from now until eternity I cannot put ads on that video. Good thing people generally this. don't watch the live streams back after a while. <laughs> But yeah, it was a little bit disappointing, but James wasn't to know. Who just thought it'd pick up on the Spanish flea of all things? Oh, he, he played it more than once, so I was doomed. But I think the thing was is that people couldn't even hear him either. Like, whatever it was, it was screwing up the audio for the whole of the hangout. Wow. No, I could hear James that night. Well, he thought that people couldn't hear. Well, we couldn't hear him. Which is part of the problem. We, we couldn't hear him saying things. And all of a sudden we could hear him. And then we could hear the music. But then he wasn't talking. But anyway... Uh -oh. That's ancient history. That's like a year ago. Yeah, you're living your life. You get a piece of mist. Where are you? Where have I missed you? No. No. Oh. No. I, I confused everybody because it says the screen title says without Aussie Brick Bloke. I, I'm sorry, I just copied and pasted last week's stream in a hurry because I had a map this afternoon. Yeah, just... I'll fix it when I finish. He's definitely yeah. here because this is his built, not mine. Finally. 
Where the hell does it go? Let's say spot the difference. That goes there. I need to get a second one. Yeah, sure. The same as with are really hard to tell. So they can look up. Yeah, I loved it last last week when I needed like you know the moral support of people and everyone was just just sledging. It was funny. Ah, uh, to get something back to front again. No, I forgot to add something. Whoops. How many, how many steps backwards is it? I think we just have to remove one piece. The other trick with technique for these big sets is to make sure you get all the parts for each step. I thought I did, but look at the thing. Like, I don't see that on my build. Oops. <laughs> check, double check, check, double check. Check. I've been making, I've been turning the gears every now and again just to make sure that they're all running nicely and yeah. so far they are. Yeah. Definitely some very interesting parts in this. I'm starting to think uh, I set the bar too high by making you live stream this. Well, this is two stages of the Mustang now. Got steering. Nice. Nice. Got the um, jack up suspension. Sweet. So you turn that a little bit. I love that the steering works from internally. It's not just a hand of God thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that stupid on top of the roof thing. Oh, yeah. Hand of God. The motor's a bit plain on it. That's a hundred mm. steps so far. Doesn't look like much. Yeah. Doesn't help that the odds. Or... Uh, me, I don't know. I've been putting a lot of gears in. I know that much. Yeah. Very geary, geary, gear. <laughs> It's the only thing that sucks about these cars is the gearboxes. You cover them, you basically cover them all up. It's where all the magic of the build is, and you completely cover them. Nobody else can appreciate it except for you who built it. Yep. This piece before? Hang on. Uh, no, that's a new piece. Cool. That is a new piece? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it came out with that set. Uh, an extension on like a similar one wide version of a, a piece like that. It's sort of a, yeah. a new addition to that uh, shape. Similar to those ones. Yeah, it's meant to follow that format. Oh, it does. Yeah. I like it. Bit of, bit of white color. That's better. Yeah, now you can see it better. Yeah, I must be building half of the um, sequential gearbox. Let me all line up with that piece. Oh, yes, it does. So it lines up that curve bit as well. Yep. That's cool. New parts are always fun. Sexy. 
Sweet. Okay. I'm going to answer that one. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe that. I think it's short. Well, it seems to be going on the tree. Yeah, it's so long. Uh, and what everyone's been complaining about. Oh, you got it through. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Have they just been printed wrong or are they fitting on wrong or what's the goal? Yeah, pretty good. It's been a... Sorry, it's not here. They're all printed wrong. Oh, wow. Right. Like... Yeah. Uh, it's not good. Let's see what the other side looks like. I've just been reminded that I've got to get up nice and early in the morning to help with uh, getting someone to work. So I might run. Um, That's okay. It's been nice having you. <laughs> I wish I could have done more on old mate here. What if I was to do another large scale thing like this? What would be another cool, like, Lego-related helmet or mask? Ooh. Probably that Islander one. Ah, King Kahuka's mask. Yes. I like the That has multiple World. colours, doesn't it? You can do um, multiple colours, though, with 3D printing, can't you? Sure. I mean, it's only, like, the red head thing yeah. and then the white... Uh, Feathers up the top, so mm, let's paint it. Yeah, that's possible. I'll have to look into that. See if there's any 3D models from anywhere on the internet, or I might have. To that was an really interesting one, definitely. Yeah. Well, goodbye, everybody. Thank you for having me. That's all right. Thank all right. you. Enjoy the rest of the evening. I'll catch you at some point. Yes. Bye, Bailey. Shoo! And then there were three. And we won't be doing this for too much longer because I also have to get up at a ridiculous yeah. stupid o'clock. Because, you know, work. I'm hoping to at least get through this. <laughs> I don't think so. Not the way you've been going. Oh, this is going to turn into about eight weeks. <laughs> I, think, I think I might let you do a little bit in between times. <laughs> I don't have time to do that. Yeah, I know. This is your designated be able to build stuff time. It's interesting. Maybe we should look on all that. It's just so many little, little pieces. Mm hmm. The way this little snot technique in here works, 
two by three or two by two with a brace connected to a brace there, which then lines up with the with that brace piece on the back. Just trying to get some light. Mm. It's quite interesting. Yeah, I've never seen that done like mm. that before either. Uh, uh, Warren G says, I hate finding parts left over when building big technical models. Luckily, each bag is numbered, but still hard to fix. That's why you have to take your time and check, double check each step as you go. And, and never build fatigued. And don't build Technic tired. Yes. That's when you really mess it up. Mm-hmm. then this guy. Yeah, we might have to wind this up soon. So, yeah. I'm going to put these in the wrong spots. <laughs> One, single hole, double. Oh, I did, idiot. Shouldn't call yourself names. Why not? You're late. Yeah. You're also loud. Yeah. No, I don't care. <laughs> like, do I look like I give any dumbs? I have no dumbs to give. <laughs> Good luck, you are about to be on camera. No, no, it's your responsibility. Come on. Your fish. Your fish, come on. Come on, no. come on, no. come on. Three holes, one. Dewey. No. One hole. Hey, Who's your bloody fish? fish? Your fish. Look, I'll click on to Philip's face if that makes you feel better. Philip, you're now the face of the everything. <laughs> <laughs> just, just while yeah. the teenager feeds the fish and. But not that much of you is on the screen, but you know. I can't even see you. No, you can't. What's your viewer numbers like? Um, drastically reduced in a hurry. <laughs> so, geez, ABC's let herself go. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the more I think about it, I think, I, I think I'm going to fight for the beard. Yeah. The beard deserves to live. I think, Start a petition. I think it needs to be propagated. Yeah. Gated and every other gated. <laughs> but not relegated to the sink or the bin. I definitely need pins on that side. Oh, the Brickaholic has joined us in the live chat. Hello. He's building the Porsche. We're up to. The 10 millionth time he's made a boo boo. I just assumed it had studs on all four sides, and it doesn't. So, studs you know, three sides. You know what assuming does. Makes a donkey out of you and me. Yeah, so far I'm not an ass. So, I put two pins in the wrong spot that's buried right in me, but it doesn't seem to make a difference doesn't seem to make a difference until later when you so, go oh, oh darn why did I do that yeah, yeah let's get off the slot into it. Yeah. <laughs> but for now it's all good <laughs> uh, Michael Stock is trying to send live chat hello he's building the Porsche We're only a hundred pages into the instructions. Yeah, the the, <laughs> the the like inch thick manual. You really have to concentrate building it. I haven't done anything overly bad. Nothing that was easily fixed.
That was a confusing sight. about really <laughs> not really hadn't noticed that before wow well, he's becoming self-aware okay the delaying of going to sleep So there's one doodads. Michael says, mine is still in the box. Never have the time. Have you seen the video of the crash test? No. No. Yeah. It's like on a uh, on a rail and they crash at a ridiculous speed. Into, yeah. Oh, it's like that time that somebody smashed the um, Super Star Destroyer. It was only, it was only the, the name that should, the the that should not be named. It, it wasn't a proper one. Yeah. Yeah, it was the same people. Ah. Uh. So. Do they have a disclaimer at the start saying no Lego was harmed in this experiment? <laughs> Lego. One of these two dads. It's so sad. But doesn't technique like hold together really well? How fast were they rocking it? It was fast. It was like a hundred k's an hour or something. Oh my goodness! I'd break anything. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder why they didn't use real Lego. That'd be like throwing away a lot of money. <laughs> Ah, oh, it goes in there. Why put the stickers in the wrong spots? Oh, you need what now? Okay. It's one of them sets you sort of best to wait till the end to put the stickers on. Yeah, I think this just needs to move up. Because you can pull the dash out and everything. You can get to all, all of those. So Diggler says put the stickers on at the end. Well, I've only put the stickers on for the gear selector at this stage. Yeah, yeah that's one of the hardest spots to get to. Just put these guys up that way. Oh, it's sort of easy to get to. You can get to it through the windscreen because it's just there. Okay, that's better. Oh, looks like I'm giving the um, Star Wars 20th anniversary stuff a miss. No. Oh, disappointment. No, oh, those prices are a little bit out of the ballpark for me at the <laughs> moment. And plus... I'm not buying sets I don't want just to collect a mini feed. Yeah, that's what Bricklink is for. Pretty much, yeah. Find somebody else and impart it. I'll wait till I come down. That's what we've got here. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we've I want the pod race, but mainly for the clear technique bits. Someone mm -hmm. started a petition for everyone to sign to get Koshi sacked from Sunrise. After his attack on Pauline Hanson this morning. Mm 
I wouldn't get him sacked just for that. I'd just get him sacked because he's useless. Anyway. <laughs> I wondered how how long it would take for, um, for a flashback to happen because of that. So you love it when you come home from a um from an event and you find a random minifig off your display, but you don't remember ever actually removing it from the display. That's all right. Uh, true story. We um pull out Sean's Minecraft display and realize that Fairy Batman was just the tutu and the legs. The top half was missing. Wasn't that missing when you were first setting it up, though? You were busy yeah, looking for yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we found him. Found the other half of him. And now uh, it's gone again. No, 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 no. It has a happy ending. He found the other, the, like, the top half. Yeah. In the bottom of the box. Oh, that's all right, then. So he must have come loose, bounced around, and ended up on an end and fallen off as it was being pulled out or put in. Well, at least you found him. Yeah. Yeah, I was devastated. I was like, oh, my God, that's a hard one to get. Looks like I might be a, a little bit lucky with this whole second room thing. I might actually be able to have two lots of two tables set up for the mm -hmm. So I can have my Star Wars table set up and be working on my train table at the same time. Nice. Mm. Might be in two different rooms, though, so I don't know how that's going to work yet. I'll wait until, you know, over the next couple of days, I'll um, be measuring up for the uh, second room and seeing what I can, what I can, can and can't do with it. Mm. Unfortunately, I miss out on Thursday because we're going to drive down to Brisbane on Thursday for um, a day for an afternoon trip. Get down there at two o'clock, spend the day with our grandson for his birthday, and then drive back at seven o'clock at night. You get that. Yeah, I'll, I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> the downside of being the designated driver of everything. Yeah, the downside of being the only one with a license. <laughs> yes. That's what I meant. I know that feeling. Yeah. I figured we're there for five hours. He'll spend three hours playing with his nana, so I can sleep then. Have a cat nap. Yeah, I'll get a power nap in and I'll be right. You're pretty good at that. Yeah, it got me through the weekend. Mind you, come Sunday afternoon, I was looking pretty bad. Yes. Mind you, no, I won't say it. <laughs> No, I was going to say something, but I probably shouldn't, so I won't. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was to do with pack up, but yeah, I'll just leave it. You, you also yeah. have to listen to one of your neighbours all weekend. Oh, that doesn't worry me. Buddy. That doesn't worry me. That doesn't worry you in one ear out the other. Yeah, no, that's fine. No, what I was going to say was to do with pack up, but I'll just leave it alone. So I don't want to get people in trouble. If, oh, I, say what, if I say what I want to say and what's deserves to be said, I'll probably get in trouble, but I don't want other people getting in trouble. Okay. How to make a stupid mistake. Yeah, oh, that chair went together pretty quick. Uh -huh. no, no, it didn't. No, nah, no, nah, that's wrong. <laughs> you made it in reverse? Nah, I forgot to put a an extra roll of the cushiony stuff. And it's a very skinny chair. Oh, okay. Mr. Skinny might fit on it, but not a normal person. Oh, you boo boo boo. Yeah. A boo 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 boo. <laughs> Tessa says that Martin converted his portion to a hot rod. Interesting. I'm going to set this up on my train table as a billboard. Oh, oh Metroliner. Yeah, pity I don't actually have the Metroliner, but that's fine. <laughs> it can be advertising it on the country on the country train line. 
Yeah, why not? Metrolana, coming soon. Monorail, Monorail, Monorail. You know, like that song. I mean, Metrolina. Metrolina, Metrolina. That's what I'm going to do. I've got to work out a way of actually attaching it all to a, to a frame and everything. But that'll happen. So, taking shape. Still got so many pieces left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got seven minutes now. We're wrapping up. All right. I don't want to stab me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. This, unless you want to keep streaming no, without me, you can keep streaming without me. That's fine. Be the boring show. The boring nobody talk show. <laughs> on the overhead cams. Let the Lego do the talking. <laughs> Let the Lego do the talking. <laughs> That's true. I was hoping to try and get through at least box one tonight. Yeah, I think you set the bar a bit too high. It is, it is the most complex part, the gearbox and motor. Yeah, I think I'm still doing the gearbox. Yeah, it's just like how Voltron, you know, the first section took forever and then the rest just came together real quickly. I'm just doing all the complicated stuff. What the hell? Surely I can't be using that place. So the um the one to one pictures on the bottom of the pages come in very handy. Not in the book and where I kept looking at the chat. Yeah. Fine. Just put it back. Fine. Putting it there so I can try and keep an eye on it that, but it's not not working out. Is it on me? Nope. 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 Hmm. I appear to be missing piece. Yeah, sure about that. Well, I've looked everywhere now. It's so quiet here at the moment. It'd be this quiet. Normally, even with Brian here, he'd be on his computer, but it's quiet and I know there's no one here. Yeah. Um, it's weird. That's hard. Emptiness feeling. Emptiness, Billy. When I was a kid, I used to be at home by myself, and you get a bit scared because it'd be too quiet. I found um, packets of chips were the best. Packets of chips. Yeah, because as you're eating the chips, it makes a lot of noise. Yeah. So it distracts you from the fact that it's too quiet. <laughs> I just put oh, like yeah. either the TV or Netflix or something else on. Yeah. I suppose that doesn't help when you're in the middle of streaming. Oh, there it is. Yep, just found it. Mm. Brick Song says, Lego Talks. I'm surprised there are not more Lego ASMR videos. 
Rick Song says, I'm a teacher. I love the feeling of being alone. <laughs> yeah, I can kind of understand that. Oh, don't get me wrong. I like to be alone too. But when you're used to having your son living in your house and all of a sudden he's not there, it's a little bit weird. Mm. Same feeling when the youngest moved out. It's just now, now everyone's gone. So it's very quiet. Oh, Michael. ASMR is audio sensory meridian response. Basically, there are some people that um, when they hear certain sounds um, through, like, you know, a microphone which amplifies everything, they get, like, these little tingles and they can be quite pleasant. Feel goods. Yeah. It's like a, a good tingling feeling. And, um, you know, some people actually use that to be able to relax and go to sleep. Can't say I've ever used ASMR to go to sleep, but I do get the tingles. <laughs> it's not just talking into it. People do, like, all sorts of... Yeah, they, they make sounds. Like they might crinkle plastic or... Cut soap. Cut soap. Yeah, certain noises are more pleasant to certain people. Like it's very individual, but there, there is a general response. Um, Did you say cut soap? Yeah, yeah, there are people that cut soap as yep. an ASMR thing, yeah. I didn't think cutting soap would actually make much of a noise. Well, they have very sensitive microphones. Uh, and they also kind of, um, yeah, cut soap, stir soup, crinkle paper. Um, some people eat things. Yeah, some people eat things. They yeah, talk in my, my, grand, my grandsons ate um, asparagus and um, white noise. They used to have to use white noise to calm them down. Yeah. I find that I, I, I generally normally can't sleep without a fan on. White noise bus, you know, airflow. Yeah, I'm the same. I need to have some sort of noise, otherwise I can't sleep. Yeah. Um, what else? Sometimes people do, like, just ordinary things like brushing hair or, or like, moving their hands through things that make noises. So, like, they might brush their hair, but they might also sort of brush their hands against the bristles, and that makes a different noise. Um... Yeah, uh, there are Lego ASMRs out there, the crinkling of the plastic, the, um, this. But you have to have the right kind of microphone that picks up the noise in the right kind of way. Like, my microphone's okay, but it's not... Not really quite ASMR quality. <laughs> Rick Song says sharpen pencils and make all the annoying noises that kids do. I think I should just set up a mic in my classroom. Maybe I would get enough views on the channel to retire. See now, the, 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 the other part of it is, is quite often the ASMR is done by very, very gorgeous looking people. Yeah. So if you fit that mold too, you might find yourself in your niche. Because right, obviously, because it's on video, it's not just an order order tree um, sensory thing. Just that one. This one. Ooh, all these different hinges, the way they all come together. Very interesting. Mm. Nice to do. Yeah, it's Where is it? Body 
No, not that good. There they are. Right in front of me. Oh. Very interesting door to it. Booped it. Yep. I dropped it. Okay. Alright, pretty much at the time. Right, we should wrap it up. Yeah, I at least want to try and finish building this component. Okay, get get to it. Damn. <laughs> He's a cranky man. Lego shows make you tired. Yeah, I'm back to work for a couple time. Thank you. And goes tomorrow. Quick <laughs> song says, hey, teach English and I sell words. Let's go down this way. Oh, goodness. No. <laughs> uh, Michael says, Brick songs you inspire tomorrow's authors. There's one of these. I have a feeling that this is just going to be the never ending story. Fine. Just pack it up then. Um, Don't get cranky with me. I'm done. Okay, so show the people how much is done. Alright, so I've got this component here. This is the main chassis. Wait, with my little gear selector. I got this little part. Just starting to. Oh, that yeah. was close. Mm -hmm. sort of, all these parts, I have no idea what they are just yet until I actually put them all together. Yeah. Well, I'll have to leave it there because unfortunately I need to get up early in the morning. You're going to wake up in the middle of the night and you're going to hear Sean back downstairs building away. Uh, <laughs> he wouldn't do that. He's cranky that I'm making him stop. I'm just going to at least finish the part that I was on. Yeah, how many pages is that going to be? No, no. Exactly. <laughs> cranky. He's cranky. Can you hear it? Like, I was just starting to get into the groove of it. I bet it's just like 10 pages or something. <laughs> yeah, it's still flicking. Okay, this is the steering. This is building the um, steering rack. Okay, that was like 10 pages. No, it wasn't. 10. Five double slides. One, two, three, four, like 30, 30 steps, jeez. Yeah, yeah, now you know, like, um, I think you should stop. Okay, I want to say thank you to everyone who's joined us in the live chat. I'm sorry, this one's a bit more of a short one than usual because mm. we got started a little bit late. But it's all good, we got there. I want to say thank you to Dark Side Bricks, who's AWOL. <laughs> I want to say thank you to Douglas McBricken for checking in with us. Yep, yeah, not a problem. It's always fun hanging out. I also want to say thank you to Bailey, who um, checked in and out a little bit earlier. It's always good to have some other friends join in when they can. So on that note, um, we'll be signing off. We will continue with the Porsche next Tuesday. Make sure you tune in on uh, Friday for TGI Friday, 9 p.m. Brisbane time. And I will see you then.
Have a good night, everybody. Oi. You're going to say boy to everybody? Oi. Boy. Bye. 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 Bye.